Marlin Protocol is an innovative AI token with lots of potential. With its pawn token, Marlin seeks to carve out a place for itself among its peers. If it can, the upside could be substantial, and it's definitely worth looking into. My name is Crypto Andy, and I'm a crypto trader and enthusiast, and I make videos to help speed up your own research. Marlin is a layer zero delegated proof of stake network infrastructure coin. That is a part of the AI narrative. Layer zero means that it's a blockchain agnostic. It's not tied down to a single chain. This allows for flexibility and greater adoption. As we all know, adoption is ultimately what drives prices. Marlin's mainnet launched circa December 2020. Its current CEO is Siddhartha Dutta. What makes Marlin special is the use of relay networks, which can enhance blockchain performance and can create better performing decentralized cloud applications. Cloud technology is what everyone uses nowadays like OneDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox. Don't forget, Marlin is a part of the AI narrative and they innovate on AI with trusted execution environments, AKA TEE, and they allow Marlin to run computations securely and privately. These isolated machines then run AI models. This enhances security for the large data AI works with and allows for scalability and high computational AI tasks to happen off chain. Also, it's zero knowledge proofs with verified computations with the need to reveal more information. That's what makes them zero knowledge. This is useful for AI applications. These developments make Marlin a good choice for AI applications because it's built for AI. So it makes sense to run AI on Marlin. The project was founded by Pratesh Goyal, Siddhartha Dutta, which I mentioned, Pratayak Sharima, and Josh Payne. Marlin is currently headquartered in Singapore. On January 7th, 2024, the price of Marlin was near 0 0.013 cents. The price went up to near 0 0.042 on March 26, that being a 209% increase in price. Not, not a bad increase, but there were other coins that did better than that. What I like about this one is the low token price, so you can really be profitable. From that high, Marlin's price dropped over 47% near 0 0.022 cents. Marlin is a part of the AI narrative, particularly with ZK proofs. Their technology allows for computations to be performed off chain, then verify them on chain, alleviating network congestion, which is a problem for AI projects, a problem Marlin is solving. Trusted execution environments allow for security and privacy in these off-chain environments. At such a time when AI takes off, Marlin will rise with that tide. You could possibly position yourself for that rising tide with Marlin. As always, do your own research. A good place to look for information is on Arkham, the intelligence platform. And if you want to break down on what Arkham is, I made a video about Arkham. I had a lot of fun making that video. Link in the description. Make sure to watch it. Uh, smaller players like Marlin tend to pump more because they have more price potential due to their tokenomics. Do you agree with that statement? Leave me your comment and let me know. Marlin has a fully diluted market cap of 185 million plus dollars. The circulating supply is 8 billion plus pawn token. The total supply of the pawn token is 10 billion. So the majority of it is out there in circulation, which is really good. Uh, it's mainly being traded on HTX and Maxi exchange. I found that out by going on to Arkham. It is important to note that Marlin uses two ERC20 tokens, Pond and Mpond. One million Pond is worth one Mpond. Mpond is used for governance and staking by validators known as metanodes. The regular Pond token is used for transaction fees when using dApps. Exchanges use Pond when you look it up, like on HTX, for example. If you're going to buy shares, you would buy Pond. According to ICO drops, Marlin's initial coin offering ended on November 1st, 2020, raising $3 million. It was able to find a lot of information on that, but I was able to find on Binance Launchpad an article, and I found a lot of information on the ICO and tokenomics on that article. The initial token was split this way. 40.9% went to ecosystem pre-seed sale, got 2%, seed sale got 20%, advisors got 3.18%, the team got 12.8%, and Flowmint received 20.5%. On that same log, Flowmint was defined as a mechanism to distribute MPON tokens to different blockchains. That is what Flowmint does. Uh, MPON's tokens are meant to be distributed validators 
for staking, helping Marlin jumpstart its consensus mechanism, which makes a lot of sense because it helps them achieve decentralization. Remember, Marlin is an AI coin. It has that going for it. Some of the things that make it special is the fact that Marlin is a blockchain agnostic. More and more chains are coming out that way. Also, Marlin has the ability to access information from databases from traditional Web2 APIs, which is not something typically done on chain. A lot of blockchains use Chainlink for things like that. Link is considered the number one token for that. Also, Marlin does parallel computing, meaning nodes work concurrently on different tasks concurrently meaning at the same time so it can get more done faster that ends up being a really big deal when you're processing hundreds of thousands of transactions it clears up bottlenecks using its oyster product nodes can send and receive data with https connections it does that by using tls connections that stands for transportation layer connections which is a way of connecting to the internet with oyster nodes you can send and receive data using that https connection which is a typical connection that everyone uses using the trusted execution environment the te that i mentioned also marlin is circuit agnostic unlike dedicated zk provider network dedicated meaning it works on the network only marlin has calypso a product that allows proof generation for any circ zk virtual machine could be matic could be optimism could be anybody this is decentralized and allows a wide variety of platforms to be integrated easily 